Good afternoon, Elm Grove Church family and friends. It's Pastor Cindy. I'm here to bring you today's meditation, and I apologize that I am late getting this to you, but I took a nap. Uh-oh. So today we are talking more about balance. Um, remember, we're doing Hello, My Name is a Child of God by Ashley Elliott, and today our meditation is entitled The Vine. So let's go ahead and get started. When we get out of balance, one problem may be that we have gotten disconnected from the vine. Are you familiar with a passage in scripture that talks about Christ being the vine? John 15, 5 says, Christ is the vine and we are the branches. Instead, have you broken apart from the vine? thinking you can visit the church or read scripture once or twice a week and, and be okay. Imagine pulling a leaf off a tree, thinking it will live. It may not change form when first separated from its life source, but it is no longer alive. Culture may say it is normal to incorporate spiritual matters into our lives just a few times each week. But remember the Garden of Eden. God dwelt with Adam and Eve, and they were in community. There may be times when we feel hopeless, and if we take time to explore, we might notice we are not abiding in Christ or inviting him into our difficult roles and situations. We apply for graduate school, scour dating apps, and hustle to land the next gig but we rest in him if we abide in Christ. We reset. We remember our first role as a child of God. Our perspective is realigned and we find our breath. The trouble is we will walk away from this encounter, heading back into the, into the chaos that pulls us into stressful, unsettled experiences. When this feels wrong, it's because it is. Remember, God made Eden where he dwelt with Adam and Eve. They worked, played, and lived in community with God. At a deep level, we long for this, but we can continue to bring God into our homes and roles as boyfriends, girlfriends, parents, and neighbors. We can bless God. God, we can blast God-honoring music and have family dance parties. We can pray with our co-workers who can't hold back the tears when they get terrible news. We can point out God's beauty when we step outdoors. We can fall on our knees in the middle of an argument. Yep, it can be difficult, awkward, and new, but we do hard things. Our extra credit today is a challenge. Challenge yourself to use the notes section on your phone to start a list of times you bring God into the many roles you serve. For example, if you pray with your kids, that's bringing God into your role as a parent. It can be a humbling but exciting opportunity to grow. So our scripture today, I believe, is John 15, 5 which she referenced in the first part of the meditation. So it says, yes, I am the vine, you are the branches. Those who remain in me and I in them will produce much fruit. For apart from me, you can do nothing. What a stark reminder today. Um, I think it's maybe a good thing that I'm doing this late because um. I got a little bit of um, shocking news today, and it's not shocking um, yet. Um, I see my oncologist next Tuesday. I had a CAT scan yesterday, and um, the results were um, a little, I don't know. Um, usually, I can interpret the CAT scan results with the help of the radiologist, but sometimes when I get... Um, something that I don't understand, and I think the worst, Dr. Osmond always sets me right because he looks at the actual exam. So at first reading of those CAT scan results, I, I was a little um, disturbed. 
Um, but now I'm trusting God. I'm just going to trust God in this because for one thing, it's a new hospital. Uh, they had my old results, but it was a new way for me to do this test. And so I'm going to trust God. I'm not, I'm going to do what I tell everybody else. Roberta, you will know this <laughs> because you've heard me say it. I'm not going to put the cart before the horse. I'm not going to worry about things that I don't need to worry about until I know more. So I'm going to trust God. I'm going to remain connected to the vine until I find out really what, and it wasn't horrible, you know, just understand me. They weren't, it was not a horrible thing. Uh, it wasn't, you know, catastrophic from my interpretation. It was just not what I had expected. And there could be a, ver a myriad of reasons why. Um, and again, I'm not going to put the cart before the horse. I feel fine other than, you know, I'm a little tired. I, I woke up early this morning and took a little nap. But, um, and I don't want you all to worry. Don't worry. If you want to say a prayer, you can say a prayer because guess what? Tomorrow is my birthday. And so I'm going to, um, and, and some blessings have come since I read that. This meditation is one that's really blessed me. Um, um, someone sent me flowers for my birthday. Um, uh, just what a blessing. Uh, I received a check in the mail. <laughs> that I wasn't expecting. So God is good, my friends. God is good. And I'm going to take my own advice that I give everyone else, and I'm just going to uh, trust God and, uh, and trust my oncologist. And I encourage you also in this challenge today, this challenge to um, bring God into each and every part of your life. Oh, he is so good, Roberta. He is just so good. And, you know, sometimes we get our minds going in the wrong direction and we have to be brought back into that. And that's another good reason why I'm so glad that I'm doing these meditations because they are really hitting right where I need them. And I hope for you all, too, that they are hitting you right where you need them. Um, this uh, last two days with the balance was really needed. As you see, there's still boxes behind me. I am making progress. Um but it's slow progress. And you know what? I go back to the tortoise and the hare. You know, uh, slow and steady wins the race. And, you know, I'll get these boxes unpacked and I'll get settled in. Um, but I'm not rushing it. I am doing it in my time and in God's time. And, um, and I'm okay with that. So let's go ahead and uh, go to the Lord in prayer. And if you are in need of prayer, you can private message me. You can call me. Uh, anything you need, I'm here. And um, I, I like I like to hear your, your needs and your wants. I like to pray for you. Uh, it takes me away from concentrating on myself, which I don't want to do. Um, I'm going to let God take care of me, and I'm going to take care of you. Hi, Connie. Uh, so let's go ahead to the Lord in prayer. Let us pray. Gracious God, we thank you for this time together today to remind us that we need to remain connected to the vine, your son, Jesus. He is our lifeblood. He is our life source. And we need to remember that. We need to be reminded of that always. Lord, help us in times of question and struggle to reside in your love and care, knowing that you are in control of all things. And it doesn't matter what the test shows. It doesn't matter what the report says. You are in control, and we believe that, and we know that, and we rely on that. And Lord, we ask you to bless us as we go throughout this week. Only a couple more days in this week, Lord, and we get to the weekend. We get to the time where we worship you on Sunday morning. We worship you each and every day in the way we live our lives and the way we speak your truth to those we know and love. Lord, protect us. Keep us safe, and Lord, be with those who need you most. And we love you, and we honor you in all we say and in all we do. And it's in the name of your blessed Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, that we pray all these things. Amen. All right, my friends, it was good to see you, and I will see you tomorrow um, sometime.
in between the birthday celebrations, I don't know, my parents want to take me out to lunch, so we'll see. Um, it's good to be up home so I can do that with them and, uh, and, and to visit with them. So God's blessings. If you need anything, I'm here. I'll, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.